Hello and welcome back. My name is Rebelica and today I am doing a speed build actually of an apartment complex and it's going to be a t subterranean or underground apartment complex. So something I've wanted to do since I got the game and so now I'm actually going and doing it. Um, feels like a good time since we are actually getting real apartments in the for rent expansion pack which I'm really excited for. I've wanted to do apartments since uh, since I got City Living and was very disappointed that we couldn't make our own there. So this world is actually where I do a lot of the uh, build challenges, shell challenges, and things like that. But I did have an empty lot here and I thought it was in a good location. So I decided that this would be a nice spot to build my apartment complex. It is a smaller lot, which is it's, it's fine. Um, six apartments, uh, it takes up a lot of space. <laughs> so. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm making an open well in the middle so that the apartments all um, come onto this apart th this well. So any rooms that have windows into it will have natural sunlight. Rooms that don't will not have natural sunlight, obviously, and will have to be lit some other way. Um, I kind of just think of when I watch Star Wars, the original Star Wars, and the uh, home where Luke and his uncle and aunt live, are um, it's it's got a sunken area in the middle which all the rooms go into, um, and it is a real place in Tunisia. So uh, I'm trying to base it sort of off of that, <laughs> but as in a, a whole complex, not just one building. So I originally wanted to do an archway onto the steps, but with the without uh, um, the the uh, move objects cheat turned on I couldn't get that to work and besides which they didn't really give me enough space openness as I wanted so I decided to use uh, the columns and spandrels to to get more even more light and the, the steps here it's it's really hard to to get them to fit and I, I really wish we had spiral staircases but we don't we also don't have elevators so um, so I did make them a switchback and then stacked them. And when I did that, I realized that I actually had only made three floors. So I had to, to build another floor down. So um, the spandrels and the columns that I'm using are actually from different packs. So getting the colors to be somewhat similar was a little bit difficult. At first I wanted that, well, I started by, with the, um, kind of like a, a cedar cherry looking wood, like very reddish, but um, I thought I would try something darker, but I didn't really end up liking how the dark looked. So, and I also couldn't figure out what I wanted to have for the stairs. I did like the sandstone for the bottom level, but I wanted something a little bit nicer uh, higher up. So I, I went with the um, that tile one that's there. I believe that one is from the court court. It's either from the Courtyard Oasis or it's from, uh, Jungle Adventure, but I can't remember which one offhand right now. But anyways, and I put little fences around too, because I was thinking of having it like a, uh, a courtyard at the bottom level, but like a, a terrace for the upper levels so that, uh, there's like still go getting right down to the bottom. And I wanted to have really open doors and windows with lots of light. Uh, so there's a lot of patio doors or sliding doors. And then for the windows, I mostly use these ones from the Desert Lux kit, the privacy screens. And um, and then for the, and also I used some from Island Living, which you'll see in just a second here, uh, for spots where I couldn't fit in those those bigger windows because there are two, two spaces. and. So I use the one space windows also from Island Living. Um, so the walls here are all from Journey to Patu. I like that particular wall. It looks like pounded dirt. And I think it works really well for a basement. So uh, so that's, that's what I have in this basement here. And only the basement and the main room actually have windows to where there would be natural light coming in. So the other two bedrooms have windows that look out onto the hallway so um, so that it could get a little bit more light that way. So I was hoping to make this one look more distressed, kind of shabby. It would be the cheapest apartment in the building. 
Um, and I'm using a lot of mirrors to try to reflect a bit more light. And originally I thought I'd make it like an off grid apartment building or apartment, but I didn't want to have that uh, restriction for the more expensive apartments higher up. So there are lights in this, but there's not as many lights as there could be. And there's a lot more off grid lamps and things. So, um, but I did want this to be the cheapest apartment. It is the smallest one as well. So it is, and it has two bedrooms and a bathroom and then like a kitchen and di dining living area. So it's small, but it, it could probably fit a fair number of Sims in here. Um, and this is the only one that I actually fully decorated. So I figured the parents would be in the bigger bedroom. Um, and then there would be a child or a teenager in the other bedroom. And I wanted them to be able to be collectors or crafters. So that's the, the thought behind this family is, is that they have the smallest apartment, but they're trying to, trying to collect and craft what they need. Um, and for decorations, I wanted things that I like, I like plants, but they wouldn't be able to get a whole lot of light down in here. So the, a lot of the plants are, are dried or dead plants, not, not actually living ones. Um, there is, there are a few living ones, but, but most of the plants are, are not living plants. And I mean, I'm somebody who grows plants in my basement and actually the room that I have, I have a I have two arrow gardens and the room that I have my arrow gardens in has very little natural light. Um, there is a window, but it's underneath an overhang on our house. So there, there's not really any light that gets in through there. So I do have a lot of like hanging, I have hanging um, UV lights for plants as well as my arrow gardens. I do seed starting and stuff down there in the spring. And actually, I just I brought in my pepper and uh, eggplant plants um, t this morning so that they can live down there over the winter and go back out into my garden in the spring. So, so as I said, I wanted to have kind of a crafter in here, maybe a teenager, I'm not sure. Um, and also, I have a hamster cage because I recently found out that children can study hamsters in lieu of doing their homework and, and get credit for it, as well as the collection of the, um, you can collect postcards from the hamsters too. So that's why there's a little postcard board, cork board there as well. And in the kitchen, I put in these counters from um, Snowy Escape because they are, are, they're basically just shelves and you can store things in there. And I did put stuff in there to decorate it, but that can easily be removed when they collect th different things. And I like this uh, drying rack, but I had put the shelves too low. The drying rack didn't fit. So I just, I raised up the ones on that one side. So they're a little bit higher than the other side. And I kind of like the effect that that gives um, having the two different heights. And I gave them a mixer, just kind of more basic things, but um, I feel like a mixer is something that you pretty much need now if you have the uh, um, Home Chef Hustle kit. And again, I wanted everything to look somewhat distressed there. So the table and the chairs from the Little Campers kit, and I think werewolves and maybe, I think it's just those two packs and they look really nice together in, in the white swatch so you get like a variety of, of different uh, not colors but levels of distressedness of the of the chairs so I'm just decorating up with whatever I can find that they, I thought they might have stacked up lots of plates um, or I moved the plates down actually I put the cookbook out there and then just put more cookbooks underneath and some more spices because I figured that would maybe be where they store their cookbooks. Um, and then over here, this is the, the living area. So I'm going to put like a, um, some sort of screen. At first I went for like a soji, like a, a paper screen, but I didn't really like that effect. So I used this other one that's more of a cutout. So light can get through, but it is still a screen. And I tried a bunch of different TVs, but I didn't like how they looked. So I know this one is more expensive <laughs> than the smaller TVs, but um, it still gives it that kind of homemade feel, kind of shabby. 
And we've got some crafting tables there and I put some mugs out to decorate and some worn out carpets with pieces missing and then like uh, little mats for the um, for the crafting stations, some l candles, some lights, more lights. And uh, I think this one is pretty much done. I think I just put a couple more lights outside. Oh, I was trying to find something that looked nice here outside. And I think I like those Batu lights, actually. I, I, I like how they look, and I think they went really well there. And so then I'm moving on to this other one. Um, so I wanted to change the design a little bit to have the hallway at the back instead of the front. And I ended up with this corner and I thought, well, maybe I'll just like cut off the edge. So it's a smaller apartment than it was originally going to be. But I think I think I like how it turned out in the end. So the, sh the, the shape of the rooms isn't all square. I mean, the bathroom is going to be a square one, uh, but all the other rooms have a lot of angles in them. Uh, I'm not sure if it's true with The Sims 4, but I know with The Sims 2, The Sims liked rooms with a lot of corners. So, so you get some really odd shaped rooms because if you wanted to put more corners in them. And so for the rest of these apartments, they're all fairly standard. Um, this uh, bottom floor, bottom level has a stone floor because I thought in real life, you wouldn't put a wooden floor in a basement. It would be stone or vinyl or concrete or something like that that doesn't rot. So I like the stone floor. I think it looks really nice with that wall and uh, it looks quite natural and it looks great in the courtyard. <laughs> so I just brought it into all, all of the rooms as well. So the um, I can't remember if I said this before because I've actually started this. Th this is my third time starting this uh, voiceover between problems with my microphone and and things but all of the all of the other apartments except for that one basement one have basically just whatever would be needed for an, a, a real life apartment building so uh, things like a kitchen and bathrooms so like I have countertops a uh, uh, stove and a fridge and then like a bathroom and I just made them all fairly similar just because to make it easier so in this part right here I actually wanted the wells to be a little bit bigger each floor you go up so I was trying to expand it and I was having a bit of trouble getting it to uh, work as a, a room because I kept getting it to be um, it didn't want to become a bigger room <laughs> it I don't know. The Sims 4 building, uh, I have some trouble with rooms sometimes, but I did figure it out in the end. So so I'd have to draw out these hexagons, get them to the right shape. And that meant like drawing walls, deleting walls. Sometimes I had to put the floor back in, take it out. But in the end, everything went to the size that I wanted it. it although it's kind of funny with the steps being there it's it ends up being more like a flattened octagon in the upper floors with one side being shorter than the rest um, but it, it looks okay I think all right and uh, so I had I took out the spandrels on the second floor except around the steps I put those back in here um, so it is open and I didn't think they really needed the spandrels anymore, having it open to the sky like that. So they still have the the, the walkway, but it's not um, it's not holding anything up above it. So that's why you don't need the spandrels. They still got a, they still get a fence though for safety. Um, So this is something I've wanted to do for so long. And I love how this turned out actually in the end. Um, then, so this is the, so this is actually the third floor that I'm on. I just kind of drew in the apartments at first to, to get this, the shape of the apartment, not necessarily the whole layout. And I thought that it would be just on one side they would have a hallway but then I'm like no I can actually do both sides so so it is uh, but I made it shorter than like width wise lengthwise I'm not sure but if you if you look at it um, 
I'll, I'll show at the end. You can see that it's the, the walls all don't line up. It is subterranean. It doesn't really matter if there's, because nobody can see, right? <laughs> I mean, we can because we're looking at it from outside of the building, but inside the building, you would never know if there is another floor above you or below you. So I put also in the, the courtyard at the bottom is a shared space. So I also put a washer and dryer down there. So uh, like a little laundry room. And at the end, I'll put some more plants in there too. Um, so I wanted it to be more of a shared space. But uh, th the walkways of the upper, uh, more upper apartments, they are not shared spaces. So um, they might be for the people on that, on the second floor from the bottom so the third floor down um, that one might be a shared space I can't actually remember at the moment but um, for the upper two floors they are definitely private walkways so I did do ceilings for every floor and um, so and I just noticed here that my hexagon wasn't quite lining up so so yeah, every floor has ceilings and the floors in all of the, the three higher floors are wood because I felt it was a, a, a lighter, brighter color. And, uh, and then I also put railings on the steps, but only the top level. So in the top level apartment is a bigger size than the one below it too. So there's a lot, and there's a lot more doors because the, the sliding doors, um, they fit better on these wider walls than they do on the, on the smaller walls below. So now I'm starting to do the, the layout of this apartment, I'm trying to figure out how to do it with bathrooms, bedrooms. I don't like doing hallways if I can avoid it because hallways are a waste of space. <laughs> I mean, they, they really are. It's, it's a uh, space that you could be using for a room if you had the rooms all leading into one another. But uh, sometimes there's no, no way about it. You just have to have a hallway, a passageway. So in this one, I ended up having a really tiny room. So I changed it around so that the bathroom and the bedroom were switched. And also that made the the bathroom uh, at the back corner and not have any natural light. So in these, in this apartment here, all of the doors actually lead off of the walkway. So to get from one room to another, for the most part, you actually have to walk out onto the uh, the, the walkway around the, the center well to get into different rooms. I mean, some of them do have doors into them from other rooms, but for the most part, it is just access one way from from the outside. And the upper apartment had this funny little one by, I don't know, what is it, five? One by five room, and I wasn't sure what to do with it, or maybe it's one by six. So I ended up putting archways onto it, and I put some some nice tile in here, so I'm not sure exactly what you would want to do with it. I couldn't find tile and, and the wallpaper that I picked didn't really seem to match. But you could put something like plants in there maybe, or I thought maybe one option would be to put a vending machine in and make that one little area more, more of a shared area. I'm not sure, because um, right now it is owned by the upper apartment. So, but it, it could be just a little interesting area for something there. So I'm just finishing out the layout here, trying to figure out bathroom and bedrooms and things. So this is how it ends up at the end. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not done, but, but as far as layout goes, uh, so there is the open well at the top has a fence around it. I mean, you don't want Sims falling in. Um, and you can see into the well, but you can't see into the apartments because they all have the privacy windows that allow light in. So at first I started with a telescope and a, um, a rocket ship for things for people to do outside, some, some easels, some uh, fire pit with a random assortment of chairs. And I wanted to have like a shady area where people could sit and relax. 
because it is a, a hot place. I like the <laughs> I like that little wall there. It's not little though. I like that wall, but it was definitely not little. <laughs> it didn't fit. So, um, so I ha I wanted to have like a little patio area too, where you could have like some barbecues and things. Because uh, I did say that one of the things you could do was to have like little parties with your uh, with the the people who live in the apartment. All right, sorry about that. My headphones died on me. So um, the second table that I had in here, the shorter one, I thought at first that it was a table I could put uh, chairs next to, but it ended up being just a little side table. So I put these little lounge chairs next to it. I thought that made it look really, really nice and relaxing, a drink tray and some more chairs. I don't know how many people exactly would be living in this uh, ap apartment complex. So I just tried to make it have amenities for several people at once and basically because we don't have like a pool or anything it's kind of hard to put a pool in when you've got an apartment right underneath the ground so I just wanted to have some other ways for people to keep cool and to entertain themselves and um, I wanted to put this fountain in here and have like a little brick walkway around it and around all the tables but I, I just, I, in the end, I, I changed it quite a bit, and you'll see. I just didn't like how that ended up. So I have a, the little, I have a little fenced area here around the, um, the little shelter here with the back. I have some palm trees. Um, there was really isn't a lot of different palm trees actually in the game, so, um, and I was trying to limit the packs a bit. <laughs> I have a tendency to use like every pack. So I did some um, terrain painting there. Um, and then I, I actually had to save my game and come back later. So when I came back, I went back to decorating the apartments. So I basically just put some lights in. I just used these wicker ones for the main rooms. And then I used the jar lights from the, the lowest level in all of the bathrooms. It's kind of a weird choice, but whatever. And then in this, this is the most expensive one. I tried to make the floor in here fancy. I was trying to do quarter tile placements, uh, but it, it did end up having some weird stuff in the middle. Um, so, but there is a, a floor that actually is very similar, um, but just like a herringbone. So I tried to get that to line in with, line up with the other ones so that it was just a pattern around the outside with the herringbone in the middle. Probably still looks odd, but I mean, it sort of works. <laughs> And so uh, for the bathrooms, they all pretty much have the same tile. Um, I believe that one is from Growing Together or High School Years. I'm not sure which. One of those two packs. That Actually, that particular pattern with the kind of greeny color with the white tile and the black stripe is almost identical to the tile in my bathroom at home. <laughs> Except ours only has one black stripe, not two. So it's... it's it's very very similar though and it's and it's like white tile black stripe and then um, pale mint on top so th that's part of the reason why I like using that tile because it is very similar to to my actual bathroom tile and I tried to make each apartment unique so they have um, different color schemes to them like this one is kind of more of a blue color scheme one is more kind of a well, it's kind of blue and purple. Um, there wasn't really any purple countertops that I liked. So um, I think that one's more blue. And then the one on the other side is more purple. And I think I did one that was more pink. Not necessarily the bath, sorry, not necessarily the countertops, but the bathrooms were more pink. And this one's all kind of black and gold. And I, I decided the bathroom was so large that I could split it up and have two washrooms here. Um, so they have the same color scheme, same objects and everything. It's just one goes into a bedroom and one goes into, uh, one goes into a bedroom and one goes into a, another room, which I think that ended up being a kitchen in this one, yeah. So this one has like a kitchen room that's separate from a living room. So, um, but I thought it was, originally thought I'd maybe make it like a galley kitchen 
but I just felt like it was too narrow to make it a galley kitchen. So the, 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 the counters are all at the bigger end of the room. And then this upper apartment, I tried to make it fancier. So each room has a different floor. Some of them are carpeted. Some have um, like inlaid wood floors. So that's supposed to be like a library office. Um, then there's the carpeted floor in the bedrooms. And the one over here that has the diagonal floor, that's from Vampires. Um, that ends up being something else too. That, that is, becomes a nursery in that one. And this has this funny little spot at the top where the steps were so far in on the hex, hex, the octagon that I decided to actually like make that kind of a feature. So, so this one, instead of putting in an actual shower stall, I put in like a little half wall with shower behind it. Um, and then I can put things on the wall. So I put some little lights and things in here. So there's the child's bedroom. There's uh, another bathroom. And again, this bathroom was so large. I originally was going to have a huge um, like built-in shower, but I thought it was too big. And I decided I was just going to put a door from there into the nursery. So you could actually go through the main like if you're in the main room there, you could actually just go through the bathroom to the nursery instead of having to walk all the way around to get to it. And for this one, I wanted the kitchen to be more of a light colored. And there's even like a sitting area here with like the, uh, the island. Um, and I was going to put a bar in, but I couldn't actually find a spot where I liked where it was. So I decided not to. So... If you play in it, you can put in a bar wherever you want. And then since they don't have a pool, I decided to put in a kiddie pool and a, uh, I was having a hard time finding it, but I wanted a water emitter from like a splash pad. Um, so that the, there's actually a little bit of fun for the kids and a hot tub over here for the adults. And then I didn't like how those chairs were, were sitting there. So I decided to put the, barbecue and the chairs on a little patio over like raised patio um so it's a little crowded but it's it's better than it was and uh um i like i like how that turned out a lot better and then i put some little lights around but i, I thought that these lights would give off more light than they do they're more like for showing you where a path is so i got some of the, the overhead fairy lights to go up and to give off some more ambient light. I, I think they actually turned out fairly well. And I love that swing set. Um, that's from Little Campers too. It's actually my favorite swing set because it's got the lights. So here I was trying to get some greenery on the inside, but I was having a lot of trouble because it wanted to sit against a wall and there's not really any solid walls here. So I got some a planter box that I was able to get that to sit up here properly on the fence. And then I decided that I did like this hanging, I don't know if it's supposed to be ivy or what, but I managed to get it to, to hang there and it actually hangs down two floors. So it was, it was able to cover two floors. And then down at the very bottom in this patio, I decided to put a fountain and some um, tile around it and, um, and some big, bigger plants and some lanterns. And I just, I basically, I wanted to make it look nice. Even though these are cheaper apartments, they'd still deserve to have a little bit of, of uh, greenery too. And then they got some, uh, I put some, some pots and things too for gardening. So this is almost done here. I changed the color of the steps and uh, I saved this here to the gallery. It says subterranean apartments. Um, and then once the new game comes out, I will be going back in and editing it so you can actually have the different apartment levels um, indicated the way they're supposed to be. Uh, but if you are not getting the pack or if you want to get this ahead of time, it is available. So, And so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go into the game and, and do a little tour and show you what everything looks like. All right, so let's take a look here at uh, this lot in, um, in live mode. So we've got our tables here and our barbecue, some pots to grow things. I just have the standard mailbox here for now, but I'm hoping that I will be able to change that when for rent comes out. 
And then we've got our um, fire pit with some lawn chairs and benches around it and a little tree here. And then if you go around to the side here, um, we've got swing set that kids can play on and some easels to do some artwork. And we've got, uh, um, let's go tap mode, there we go. So we've got the uh, um, water emitter here for a splash pad and a kiddie pool telescope. And a little bit further on here, we've got uh, our relaxation area with a couple of lounge chairs, some lemonade, some more activities for the kids. You can play with the uh, um, monkey bars there. And then we've got our hot tub. So let's head back around here to the front. And then, so, so then you come up here and you come up to this well and you can look down and see that there are a bunch of apartments down there and so let's go down okay so if we take a look at the apartments here so let's just go down one floor there we go um so we can look down can't seem to get this to work in, in live mode, so I'm just going to do this in build mode. You can see down into the courtyard, so we'll come through here. And um, you can see here I have a wooden ceiling. And there is lots of light comes in through these windows here. And actually, this is a sliding door. This is the window over here. And we've got a nice kitchen with a nice little island. And we can go through this door here. Um, so this is, these are the doors to come in off the steps. And you can go into the bathroom here. And then into, this is, oops, this is the nursery. There's the nursery there. And the nursery has sliding doors that go out onto um, to this walkway here. So just follow around here. We've got this little room that I'm not sure what you want to do there. But it's up to you. If you wanted to put, fill it full of shelves and put knickknacks on there, whatever. Okay, let's do it this way. And here we have the kids' room. And we'll go back out here. And moving on to the next room over is like a library or office. Just put a couple of bookshelves and a desk in there just to give it a sense of what kind of room it could be. So go back out here. And then in this room, we have another bedroom. And this is this this is the the pink themed floor. So um, there is actually a door. Sorry, there's a door here from the the parents room into this bathroom which is a pretty narrow one so I used a lot of the eco lifestyle uh, tubs and the concrete tubs and things I just I like them <laughs> and so then you've got a little wall here with a shower and there is some light that comes through here the curtains on there and then we are back here to the main room let's go back down to the steps because this is really where we come in and let's go down one floor and this is the other one that's a single apartment so there's a wall here wall here so people need to go keep going down to get to the other apartments so in through here a uh, fairly open room this would be like a living room uh there's an extra window over here go through these uh um, the archways here into a kitchen. And on the other side, there's a there's doors here from the kitchen that go out. And there's also a door here that goes into the bathroom. So if I go to tab mode here for a second, every room 
The bathrooms all have this uh, this tile ceiling on them, which matches the floor. And all the bathrooms are made with this uh, this set in different colors. So, as I said before, each uh, oops, I hit tab again. Here we go. Each uh, each apartment has its own like color scheme. All right, so here we are back out. That was the bathroom there. And so here is another be bedroom, which ha has access to that bathroom as well. Um, so it's not a fully ensuite bathroom because there is access from the kitchen as well as from the bedroom. Um, and I know of a few bathrooms like that in real life where the, the main bedroom has access to it and there's also access from another room. So this is a really narrow room here. Um, but it opens up on this side over here. So uh, I thought this would make a nice bedroom for like a child or teen. And we're back around here. So whoever is in this room, they have to walk all the way around to get back to the living room. Um, so, And then this hanging plant here does hang down past the next one. You can sort of see through it. Like if you're on this side, let's go through here. So if you're on this side, you can still see through it, but it is a screen. So this this level has two apartments. So it's open here at the front of the steps. And that gives you access to this apartment, one part, one apartment. And also, actually, both apartments come off of here. So let's go from here. So that's the steps going down. And there is a door here. So let's go in through this door. And this is another wooden room. Not much here. There's a little kitchen area in the corner. Um, this is a very light colored apartment. Um, so we've got light wood. We've got a stove and a fridge. And this one is just the one door to the apartment. So we come along here. And in this room right here is a little bedroom. Whoops. Let's go in here. Here, I'm going to go from top view because you can see it better because this room is so narrow. So this is a really narrow room, but uh, you could put like a dresser or a desk or something in here. Uh, maybe bunk beds. And then we come down this hallway some more. And I put, oh, I'm turning the wrong way. There we go. Um, I put lights at the end of the hallway, which is here. There we go. And you go through this door. And this is the main bedroom. So then if you come back out here and there is another door over here. So if you go into this room and we have, this is the blue themed apartment. So fairly large room here. Um, I didn't put a lot of light in. I, I'm having trouble here. Why is this not want to go? Okay. So if you notice, this one has a different ceiling. It's a little bit darker ceiling. And you can see the beams. This is one is from Horse Ranch. So this room comes all the way over here. Uh, my door is missing. All my doors are missing here. Okay. Let me put these back in here. And, uh, well, that's odd. So this was supposed to have a door here into this bedroom and a door into this bedroom. And I think I made a little mistake here because the door to the bathroom is on the wrong side of this wall. So let's just go like this. And then let's put a light here. It would let me. Why won't I let me put a light in?
This can't intersect with walls. That's a different one. Should be able to. Okay, well, I fixed it here, so let's go. Oops, I went to live mode instead of what I wanted. Okay. So now, if we were to go down this hallway, we would actually have some light. And we would be able to go into... Let's see. Go into this bathroom and take a look around... And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep doing top down because I'm not very good at the first person sim. Um, so we can have a little well we have quite a large bathroom here actually. It's all very white colored, and then we have a purple bed in here, and another one here. So it's just a little two bedroom apartment. And then, if we go back down here, and let's go down to the lowest level here. here. And let's go. I don't know what it is with the... Never seem to be able to get the tab mode to work, so get out of tab. So when you come down here to the lowest level, um, and there's supposed to be a post here too. Isn't it fun how the game just deletes things sometimes? Let's put this column back in here. Alright, so when you come down here, and this uh, apartment here is the tiniest one, but we've got uh, some laundry right at the bottom of the steps that everybody can use. And then you come down here, There. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. So down here we have a little fountain. And we've got some uh, planters. Vertical planters here. So let's actually go through the bigger one first. So the bigger apartment's here. And there's just kind of a little couch here. And a, a kitchen. And then off of this main room here. We've got a bathroom. And over here, whoops, we've got the main room. It's a fairly large room, kind of a funny shape. And then, but we've got this hallway down here. So we'll go down, down here. And, um, oh, and if you look at the ceilings, I just got a gl glimpse, of, glimpse of them here. Yeah, so they are also the horse ranch ceilings. Okay, let's zoom out and go top down. So this weird kind of room here, I made it into like a toddler nursery room here. Um, although it'd be also be suitable for several children. Pretty much, pretty large room actually. And we'll come back out here to the courtyard and turn around. And So this is our apartment that we did decorate. So I'm going to just hit tabs. So we can just take a look around. So we've got like our keys and bags at the door here. We've got a juice fizzing station. We've got a candle making station in the back there. Woodworking station, living area, dining area, our little kitchen. And then through here is a children's or teens room, a little hamster, um, a, a little thing for collecting elements, a little backpack. And then over here on this side is the parents' bedroom with the little closet there, TV, the mirror, the little light switch that I actually remembered to put in. 
I don't think I put light switches in most of the other units. I just that's not something I think of for some reason. Probably because we hardly ever use light switches at my house. We use a lot of the uh, um, smart lights. All right, so here is the bathroom with like an older toilet um, and a very DIY looking tub and shower there and some more windows out onto the courtyard so you get well actually it's just the one window but because there's a mirror here it kind of gives the impression of having more light and a little uh, laundry hamper to block the broken mirror and that is that apartment so that is everything so i actually i really like how this courtyard here turned out i think it is very pretty and it's too bad you can't see everything else <laughs> at the same time. Alright, so that is all of the four floors of the subterranean apartment complex that I built. So, okay, so thank you for watching. Um, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this, uh, and, and tell me if you like doing. The speed builds uh, i haven't done very many of them but i love building so i would love to do more uh, so don't forget to click like and if you're new here you can click subscribe and the little bell for notification of more videos and i will see you next time bye